When the indentured workers arrived in South Africa, they were faced not only with a country that was unknown to them, but also bewildering differences in lifestyle and unfamiliar food. Fortunately, they brought with them their knowledge of spices. And this week, Chef Sylvester Nair pays tribute to their contribution to South African cuisine. Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today, in light of the 1860 arrival of the Indians in South Africa, I'll be preparing a few South Indian dishes, which is also my heritage being fourth generation Naya from a little place in India called Kerala. So I'm gonna do some fish curry, I'm gonna do some potato curry, and I'm gonna serve that in an absolutely amazing way. So to start my dish, I'm gonna melt off some nice coconut oil. While that's going, I'm gonna add some of our dry spices. We got dried onions, murti seeds, some mustard seeds, some caraway in there. We're just gonna let that go a little bit with the coconut oil. I'm gonna put a touch of dried curry leaves. I'm gonna put a whole red chili in there. Fish curry is a dish that should be served hot. And while that's going, I'm gonna prep a little bit of my fish. So I have a nice fresh piece of a sea bass fillet here. So I'm just gonna cut that into cubes. I'm gonna pop some fresh ginger and garlic into my pot. We got some nice color on our dried spices. I'm gonna add a bit of onions in here. We're gonna add some fresh coriander. I'm not gonna chop it up. I'm just gonna pull these leaves and stems apart a little bit. As usual, if you were here, and you could smell what was going on, you'd probably try to eat everything that's in the pan, not cooked as yet. So at this stage, we're gonna just let that go for a little bit. I'm gonna add my fish skin side down so the skin doesn't fall apart. So over the fish, I'm just gonna add a bit of my chili powder. If you don't wanna add too much of spice, remove the seeds and also the flesh of the chili on the inside, and also not add too much of chili powder. Or you could substitute the chili powder for uh, the mother-in-law masala for a lighter chili powder or a fish masala. So we're gonna let the fish infuse nicely with the spices, the onions, the coriander, the ginger and garlic. I'm gonna add some of the tamarind to my dish now. The tamarind's gonna add a nice sour tangy flavor. I'm gonna let that infuse for a little bit. I'm also gonna give it a quick stir just so I spread it out evenly. You guys saw that I didn't use normal oil, olive oil or butter, I used coconut oil. In Kerala, there's the base of most dishes in their rice, in their desserts, in their curries, whether sweet or savory, it's always coconut oil, fresh coconut, coconut milk, and I'll be doing a lot of that today as well. So that looks ready, smells amazing as well. I'm gonna go for some tomato now. And just mix that. You see the tamarind's also added a beautiful color. I just want the tomato to cook out so the acidity is out and we're gonna let that go for about 15 to 20 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start getting ready with my potato dish. So I'm gonna let that simmer on a low heat. I'm gonna warm up another pan for my potato dish. I'm gonna start by adding nice helping of coconut oil. I'm gonna add some dry spice to that. I'm gonna add some chopped onions. I'm gonna add some ginger and garlic. Nice chili. I'm not gonna add one chili this time. I'm gonna add two chilies. I'm gonna chop some fresh coriander and put that in there. I just wanna bruise the leaves a little bit so that natural juices and oils can come out of the coriander before I chop it. Nice big chunky pieces. I'm gonna pop that in. While that's on the side, I'm gonna add my potatoes in now. I've parboiled these potatoes. It makes cooking yellow potato curry a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna give that a nice mix. Since today I'm using dried curry leaf, I'm gonna just crush a little bit over now just to infuse with the flavor of the potato. I'm gonna add some turmeric powder to the dish. Turmeric makes the potato curry yellow. It also adds a very distinctive flavor to the dish. For a bit more heat, I'm gonna add some mother-in-law masala. I'm gonna give that a mix just to blend my spices with the potato. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm gonna be adding some coconut milk to add my South Indian inspiration. So that's gonna kind of braise in the coconut milk. I'm gonna add some water to that as well. Just for more liquid in the dish to soften up the potatoes a little bit faster. I'm gonna give that a mix. Because the potatoes are already parboiled, it's gonna be a, quite a quick cooking process. So I'm gonna bring that to a boil. I'm just gonna increase the temperature on my stove a little bit. And once that's boiling, it should be ready to go. Okay, yellow potato is smelling lovely. The fish curry is getting nice and thick. I'm gonna set these aside and for my last dish, I'm gonna do a nice lentil rice. So I'm gonna add some coconut oil. 
As you guys can see today, truffle oil is not my favorite ingredient, coconut oil is. I'm gonna add some nice dry spices here again. We're gonna pop our onions straight in there. We're gonna do a touch of chopped coriander. I'm gonna add my lentils straight in. Lentils are also pre-cooked. So I'm just gonna let that go for about two or three minutes. The fish curry is looking amazing. The yellow potato is almost there. The lentil rice is almost ready. Then we're gonna start plating up. Okay, the lentils are looking good. The onions are not cooked too far. I'm gonna add a nice helping of rice. I'm gonna mix that up. So while the rice is heating up, this is gonna give me some time to prepare my amazing plate. Okay, I got my amazing plate here, which is our traditional banana leaf. I'm gonna add some of my fish curry. Now I'm adding some of my lentil rice with fried onions. To make things a little bit interesting, I got some nice roti here. I'm just gonna open that up, pop that straight on, and I'm gonna put my potato curry straight over that. I'm gonna add some of my papadums now. We got a nice touch of bananas here to add a nice cooling effect. Also sweeten up the dish if it's too spicy for you. So over the fish curry, I'm just gonna drizzle some nice coconut milk to add a nice cooling effect to that. We're gonna finish it off with some sambals. And some nice fresh coriander. Fish curry, lentil rice, rotis, papadums, yellow potato curry. My Indian legacy on a banana leaf. What more could I ask for?